Hey guys, me Julie, back with another video. We are gonna do a treasure hunt today and I am so excited. Like so, so, so excited. <laughs> it's my favorite part of jewelry. Okay, before we start though, let's look at the calendar because I wanna tell you something. So here we are today, jewelry treasure hunting. Tomorrow, I don't know. I don't know if we'll get through the bag, we'll see. Uh, decor and stuff. Let's just call it that <laughs> on Friday. And then Saturday, you guys, it's going to be an all clearance per sale. All clearance. So if you saw something previously and you were like, I like it, but it's just a little bit out of my budget, watch that video, okay? Because there's going to be 40 clearance bags. So we're going to do this up. And the prices are going to be priced to clear. Clear the shelves. Clearance. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's do this. Okay. So let's see. First of all, if you'd like to purchase anything that we find in our treasure hunt, you can pause the video here and it will tell you exactly what you need to do. Um, and what else do I want to tell you? I think that's it. I think that's everything. Okay, guys. So we're going on treasure hunt. Going on treasure hunt. Got my magnet. You need a magnet, okay? Got it. Got my black light, my little black light keychain. Got it. Got my loop. Got it. Uh, got my gem tester over here, and I've got my sterling test, uh, acid testing over there, and gold's over there. You know, we can be optimistic, but probably not. <laughs> All right, so this is a five pound bag of jewelry from America's Thrift Supply. Um, I think Kristen's code still works. Did I forget to use it? <laughs> I think I forgot to use it. I think Kristen's code still works. Um, it's K-R-I-S-T-E-N and I believe you get 10% off. Don't quote me on that. Somebody put it in the comments. You guys always know. If you don't mind, I'd appreciate it. Uh, so here we are. We're doing jewelry supply mystery box, five pounds, $33.98 plus shipping. And if you have tax, I took it out of the packaging so it wouldn't be super loud, but I'm going to give you guys first looks. Here we go. Some sparkles, some acrylic, some beads and more beads and beads. And oh, what's that? It looks like a critter. Oh, I'm so excited. Some wood beads. Those are nice. I've sold those before. Uh, gosh, is that another critter? Oh, what is in here? Oh my gosh, I can't wait to get to the critters. Oh my goodness. All right, guys, there it is. All right, I am going to, what am I going to do with this? I think that I'm gonna kind of dump it at the top of my screen a little bit. Is that okay? I think that would be okay. And we'll kind of pull from there. Oh, look, it's an earring to match this necklace. Um, oh, I see the other one. Sweet, thank you, America's Thrift Supply. Keeping the earrings together. All right, so I will sell these separately and we're gonna get hands dirty and that's okay. Dirty jewelry is the best. <laughs> This literally is my favorite part of jewelry. This got me through the pandemic, looking through jewelry, searching for treasures. Um, it was the best. We didn't do lockdown because um, our business was considered, um, yeah, whatever the word is. <laughs> we had to stay open. Um, so uh, yeah, so we were out there and all of it, but at night, kind of like to help me cope, I did a lot of jewelry stuff, so I bet some of you guys did too. Anyway, here we go. This is a beautiful little wooden piece. I really like it. Wooden discs. Uh, I think that's just a gold tone clasp. Definitely, I would say vintage. So it's a spring ring clasp, so it probably is vintage-y. Um, let's get a drop on this. This is nice. It's a 10 and a half inch drop, you guys. 10 and a half inch drop. Let me show you up close. She's pretty. She's very, very pretty. I would say maybe some light wear, but nothing that would make it unwearable. Gorgeous. I love the graduating discs. Okay, so I'm going to ask, bring your numbers in, Julie. 
I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask 10, $10. Let's see how it does. And then I have the earrings to go with. They are posts. And I'm going to ask $5 on those. Okay. So do you guys think that we'll make our money back on this box? Uh, so far, we're off to a pretty good start. You know I got to grab these critters. But there's one on this side of the bag that I think might have fallen off. Didn't I see it over here? I don't know. We'll have to get to them. Oh, cool. That's kind of cool. And Tangles. Oh, my goodness. I love tangles, you guys. I don't like tangles on on the camera so much, but I do like tangles. Okay, what have we got here? I've got to see these critters. All right, so we have a barrel clasp, and it's wood beads into smaller wood beads and some glass and acrylic beads. And it comes down, and we've got critters. Let's see. We've got this guy some light wear on him. This guy, I think that's a camel. Uh, this horsey, I think there's another one of those in there, unless it was this and I didn't realize. Um, then we've got, let's hold this in the middle. Okay, so it looks like the animals like are in this portion and then it comes down to this and yes, we're gonna have hair. <laughs> um, and we have three animals over here. Looks like a rhino. Mm, this guy with white lipstick. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. So there's like six animals. Maybe there isn't another one. We'll see when it comes up. But this is cute, you guys. Oh, nope. I think there is. Look. That's a boo-boo one. Is it? I, I don't know what that is. Where was that? Where did it go? Maybe not. Maybe it's like a piece that's um, like a boo-boo. <laughs> Maybe the bead has a boo-boo and it's just on there because that's not how they attach the, the animals are strung through. So I don't know what that is. Um, okay. So here it is. Let's do how about $6 on that one. Whoop, $6. A lot of big stuff. I'm not going to fit in my, Ooh, Lordy. Okay. Here we go. We have gold tone faux pearl earrings. They are posts. They seem to be in nice condition. Let's see if there's any signature anywhere. I don't see anything. Um, yeah, I don't see anything. Let's get a good look. They look like they're in really nice condition. Cute. All right, let's go $5 on those. And I'm happy they fit in my bin. Okay, so another pair of matched earrings. Gotta love that. Okay, what is this thing? And can I get it or should I quit? I mean, go to something else. Okay, so this is kind of like broken. <laughs> Let's see how broken. Oh, not very broken. It just needs to, you just need to put that through on the coin. Okay, so not broken very much at all. This is very, very cool. Look at that, all the brass coins and then the little paddles. And then up here you have ceramic <laughs> and a little um, person thing and ceramic on the side with llamas. So I would say this is probably South American. Let's see if there's any hints on the coins. Banco Central de, uh, de Reserva del Peru. Peru. Very, very cool. I really like this. This is neat. So just know that you'll have to just take your little pliers or anything you could stick in there, bend it out a little bit, put this back in, bend it back in. Okay? It's going to need a little help just in that one spot. Um, let's do... I'll do six on that one as well. Six dollars. Well, that's fun. I wonder if the other ooh, if the other wooden one might be from Peru also. Maybe somebody donated their stuff. Okay, this is interesting. Um, looks like somebody made this and they put um these pieces together. Interesting that they put the paint on the outsides. I wonder if there was wear and they thought they would cover it in that way. Very creative. Uh, it comes down to some cowrie shells. I think that's how you say it. Uh, feathers. So you have like mother pearl or shell. 
some leather. They put this on as a bale, cool. And then I don't know what's going on here. There's like a stone glued on, okay. This thing's got it going on. It comes up to here and this clasp. All right, so I think somebody just put a ton of elements together. It's kind of cool, right? I think it's cool. Let's go five bucks. Five books. Somebody was very creative. Okay, this earring is so flipping cool. <laughs> um, yeah, I was hoping it was a bracelet. Could you wear it as a bracelet? Can I say hubs? Chop off the post. Oh yeah, that is pretty dang cool, you guys. <laughs> I could hit that with my nippers. All right, let's see if we get a match. <laughs> All right, we have another wood necklace. This one's wooden shell. Wood and shell, not wood in. Look at that. That's beautiful. Look at that shell inlay. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. So I think this is probably an acrylic back. Yep. So like an acrylic back with shell on top. Wooden beads. Beautiful. Oh, I didn't give you a drop on some of those. They're longer. This is a 10 inch drop, you guys. This one I'm going to do, I'm going to do $8 on that one. It makes a cool noise. Did you hear that? That's really cool. All righty. These are, I think they're glass. Uh, hold on. Let's see what we've got here. Monet. Monet. And I believe they are glass. They are cold to the touch. They're heavy. And they make a little clink sound. Beautiful navy bead Monet glass beads. These are really pretty, you guys. Um, this is an 11 and a half inch drop, you guys. Um, I'm going to do 10. $10 on the Monet. Okay. What do we have here? Okay, so we have uh, a faux pearl chain, gold tone, that's kind of like a rosary style chain not signed and then it has this little dingle dangle gold tone locket dun, dun. very cool now when i started looking at jewelry guys i would have stuck my magnet on everything every single piece in fact if you go back to early videos of mine i magneted everything so do that okay so i would suggest that you stick a magnet to everything and anything that's not magnetic, test it because it will help you learn, okay? So, for instance, um, something I tested a ton of. Um, omega chains. That's a good one. Some omega chains are sterling, but very many of them are not, but they're not magnetic. So, you'll learn those little things, okay? Uh, it's a long one. Let's do a drive-by. Dun, 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 dun. Bam. Hey this way. Bam. <laughs> All right, let's do, hmm, let's go six dollars on that one. It's very, very pretty. Um, on a faux pearl scale, those are lighter. I would say they're good, okay, on our good, better, best scale. Um, these are cool, and I think we have a match. Thank you, America's Thrift Supply. Wow, do they always have all matches, you guys? I haven't really watched a lot of their jewelry unboxings because, you know, time. <laughs> All right, so these are acrylic cha-cha earrings. Uh, gold tone. Mm, maybe some very light wear if, if you're being kind of picky, but I think they're okay. Let's go $5 on those. You can cha-cha all day, guys. Cha-cha your day away in those. Okay, this is missing a rhinestone. A single earring there. Oh, guys, I think it matches that necklace. Check that out. Oh, that's cool. All right, so anyway, uh, rhinestone necklace. We are missing a rhinestone right here. It's silver tone. Some light wear on that one. Yeah, some light wear on her. Not horrible, but she is missing a stone. So if anybody wants to do anything with her, two bucks. $2. We have an acrylic bangle. Look at that shape. That's really cool. Like a rounded out triangle. Has like a leopardy print and some glitter. 
super cool. Let's go uh, two bucks. Okay, what is this? Ooh, ooh, guys, this is nice. It feels nice. Okay, well, don't throw those in there, Julie. Separating single earrings. Hoping for some matches. There we go. I see a pair, I think, right here, so I'm going to grab them. Okay, put those right there. We'll do them next. All right, so we have some... Eek, come here. Come here, we're almost untangled. You gotta do your part, sir, ma'am. Let's put these over there. Oh, I see another match. Okay, let's put those together. Put that there. Okay, so this is a glass bead necklace. I think this is probably like some Tibetan silver or something like that. And it goes down to this amazing red orange seed bead in glass in these two chunka chunka. Chunka chunka, hunka hunka chunka chunkas. Oh my gosh, I almost didn't remember what I say. <laughs> Uh, right there, and then continues down. Wow, it is beautiful. Look at the colors, oranges and reds. Gorgeous. Let me lay it out so you can see. Do, 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 do. That was a reverse drive-by. Now we'll go forward. Reverse. <laughs> this is Bryn trying to get her dinner. Did you guys watch my short of Bryn? <laughs> All right, this is very, very, very beautiful, you guys. I am going to ask $10. $10 on that one. Uh, sorry, my sister-in-law is writing to me. This weekend is the baby shower for my nephew and his fiance. So it's very exciting. These are signed and they feel like glass. Let's see. Monet also. All right, so we have two Monet glass beaded necklaces. Are they different lengths? No, same. So what we'll do is we'll sell them separately. They are this really pretty, like, purpley color, purpley pink. Gorgeous. Let's get a drop on it. This one is 14 inches. So will the other one be? Goodness, it's dirty. Okay, 14 inches. Let's go $8 on that one. Second one, same thing. Let's go $8 again. Okay, next. Oh, earrings. We're going to do earrings. Okay, I found these. We have like an acrylic uh, cabochon and some dangly coins, but there are some coins missing. So when I used to repair things, what I would do with this is I'd probably make them match in the middle. So like maybe three on this one and three on this one, I would move them around and then you'd have your outside hooks and I'd add something, okay? So anyway, if anybody's interested, let's just do a dollar, make them pretty. Um, here we go. This is acrylic purple and gold. These are really gold tones, excuse me. These are very, very pretty. I love the carved acrylic. Super pretty. Do you think these might have a signature somewhere? Let's check. Come on. Okay, I'm about to quit check. <laughs> quit check. I'm about to quit, quit checking. Okay, I'm not checking. I can't do those on camera. Uh, let's do $5. And then we have these gold tones. These are very nicely made. I am very surprised there's not a maker in there. They are in excellent shape. Gorgeous. They remind me of Monet. Uh, let's do five dollars. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. So I took Brent outside, you guys, today before I came up here, and we had so much fun. So we do this thing in our dog pen. If we go corner to corner and I stand in the middle, I take her, chuck it, and chuck a ball that way, and she runs back this way and drops the ball as I'm chucking one that way to that corner. So she's continually going back and forth and she loves it. Oh my gosh. She sounds like a horse, like boop, 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 boop. like her feet. She is moving. You guys do not get in her way. She is moving. We don't need that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. At first I thought this was cold. These are acrylic. These are acrylic, but now look at that. I think that might be ceramic. See the white inside, you guys? That typically would be ceramic. 
Okay, so a little stretch. Stretch is good. Let's go $3. Let's see if I can get it in this container. There we go. Um, we have this little cross uh, mixed metal, gold tone, silver tone, not sign. And we have some potato pearls. These are probably real. Yep, those are real. And it's one of those that you can um, tighten up with the strings. Does it work? Let's see. Yes, it does. Tighten and loosen. Let me tell you the biggest. The biggest size. I didn't tell you the size on that bangle, did I? Oh, Julie. The biggest you can get to is a seven and three quarter. Okay, and I'm going to go back to this bangle. Apologies. The bangle comes in at an eight, this one. That bangle is number 95. Sorry about that. Not doing my job, people. All right, so let's do $6 on that. Very pretty. Um, okay. Oh, I have the second one of this. Let's see. More cha-chas. Cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. Very cute. Very cute. Some nice vintage in here, huh? I'm very impressed. Very impressed. I will be getting another. I sure will. <laughs> what do you guys think? Um, Five dollars. Those are very, very pretty. Nice fall colors. Not that we want to think about fall yet, but you know, it's going to come no matter what we want. Those are pretty. Okay, what is this? Okay, so this is um, something that would unscrew and you can add your different Pandora beads or whoever, whatever manufacturer to. Uh, silver tone. These, these are kind of dirty, just so you see it. Um, the necklace is a nice shape. 14 karat gold plate. Um, I don't know if I believe that. <laughs> it might be, I guess. It might be like a white gold plate. I've never seen anybody gold plate with white though, but it could happen. Okay, so 10 and a half inch drop on this one, you guys. Let's go seven. I have not done a treasure hunt in so long. I feel weird pricing. <laughs> I feel weird. Okay, so we have this awesome like metal mesh chain silver tone and it comes down to this honka honka chonka chonka. Look at that. Look at that. This is very pretty though. Um, I bet mama's going, hmm, if I clip that off, I could put that on the front of a journal. I bet you guys, I bet you. I bet you she's doing it. <laughs> there you go. Um, I don't really see any wear on it. Nice. Let's go six bucks. Will this fit in here? Oh, good. Even better. All right. We've got this guy. It is one of those that you could add beads to. Um, it's probably stainless steel. It's like heavy, like heavy duty, heavy duty. It's coming in at an eight, you guys. Coming in at an eight. <sighs> okay, Julie owns that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, so we had this bangle. Um, I don't think it's sterling, but for the heck of it, let's magnet it. No, it's not sterling. And the one I'm wearing wasn't either. I was pretty sure without doing that, but we can show you. Uh, so let's just do a dollar. That one comes in at, that one comes in at nine and a quarter, you guys. So it's a nice larger size if you need that. Uh, one dollar. Okay, we have. Oh, shoot. Sorry, guys, I got a text. Uh, we have another glass bead necklace. Looks like Tibetan silver or something like that up there again. And these amazing colors and the beads and then these random larger beads in there. Very, very pretty beaded necklace. Gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? I like it. I like it a lot. So this has an 11 inch drop plus some extender left. Uh, yeah, that's really pretty. Let's go. Um, let's go $8 on that one. Will you fit? Yay! And she fits in the bin. Woo! Okay, we've got single earrings here. Let's throw this one over here. We've got this one. We've got 
something earrings in a bag oh guys these look nice oh what what in the what in the heck these are stone and they're beautiful wow look at those those are really nice what's up on his head oh is it like a thing of like it's a kind of bird this is like his little crest I guess so. Look at these. These are super, super nice, you guys. Super nice. Like maybe soapstone, and then there's other pieces, maybe some shell. These are shell right here. Wow. Maybe some red jasper. Um, let's, uh, I think we should take a picture of these and do a reverse image search. Do you guys want to do that? Uh, let's see. Um, I'm going to do my picture off to the side so I can get a little bit better shot of it, if you guys don't mind. Okay, so I took a picture in my regular pictures, and then I go to Google Photo. Oh, I'm out of storage. I know. Can you just... I know. No, no, no. Um. Okay, excuse me. Okay, so there we are. I pushed Google Lens. Oh, here they are, the exact ones. Quail Dark Body Fetish Earrings by Matt Mitchell. How cool is that? So these are probably by the artist Matt Mitchell. Typically, I try to confirm that with um, more people telling me the same thing. And... What does this say? Let's visit this one. So that's them with a lighter body. Uh, this one is not saying Matt Mitchell, so I'm not going to say, oh, maybe Southwest Style by Native New Mexican Matt Mitchell. Made with Picasso marble from Utah, pipe stone and jet with turquoise accents. Silver, sterling, silver, ugh, sterling silver ear wires and top knot. Wow. Okay. This is cool. Let's um do a magnet on the... Oh, you guys. Okay. So this is like brass right there, that pin that holds them together. But this probably is sterling and probably is a little head thing. Um, We'll test those. How about that? And then I'll give you a price. Those are cool. That was so fun. That's a good find, you guys. Good treasure. Okay. And I'm really impressed that they put them in a bag because they recognized that that was a nice piece. Okay, here we go. Let's look at this baby. I'm checking it for marks because I had a whole boatload of that um, rose gold uh, verme uh, bracelets and anklets like this. So it made me think of that. Uh, this one comes in in an eight and a half, plus there is tons of extender. So actually, let me tell you what sizes it can go from. Uh, it can go from uh, just over an eight to a 10 and three quarter. Okay, so lots of var variety there and you could wear it as an inklet. Uh, let's go two dollars on that one. That's cool. Uh, what's this? How long have we been on? Half an hour already. Jeepers, we might be finishing this bag tomorrow. Uh, let's look at this now. Um, so snake chains, same as the Omega I told you before. So let's look if this is marked at all. Um, why does that look weird? Does this work? Yeah, it works. It's not marked. It's probably not going to be magnetic. They're usually not, but we'll test it just so you guys can see. Uh, okay, what is this? It's an earring. Okay, go over there. Mm, shell earring, another. Oh, look, this matches that stretchy bracelet. Okay, that's cool. So here, stretchy bracelet, and I think it all matches this necklace also and this bracelet. So it's kind of like a big set. Okay, so here we go. Acrylic, this matches that stretch. Let's go $4 on those. And then we have a second stretch that kind of is part of the set. Let's go 
Um, this one is probably ceramic right there too, maybe. There you go. Uh, let's go $2. And then we have a necklace for this set. That's cool. All right. So we probably have some ceramic and some wood and some acrylic. Cool necklace. Uh, silver tone, not signed. Very cool. Mama would not like this because it's asymmetrical. It doesn't like go matchy matchy side to side. I love that about it. <laughs> Mama would not. Okay, so this one is going to be, how about $8? <gasps> you guys, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> you guys, oh, I just hit everything. <gasps> you guys, look. Look, you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, the necklace. Oh my gosh. I am so excited to have found this. Now, are there any signatures on this? Sterling, I see Sterling. Okay, just Sterling. Wow, you guys, I am so excited by this. <gasps> okay, let's set it over here. Oh my gosh, wow, I'm so excited. That was a good one. Guys, why have I not been treasure hunting? What the heck, I love it. All right, Silvertone, little pendant, reminds me of Aaliyah Sophia. Let's go two bucks. Uh, what is this? A bracelet. Ooh, look at this. This is a honka honka chunka chunka. Sure is, but this is fun. Ooh, baby. All right, so we have silver tone. Uh, we have two spots for the toggle. We have these chunker hearts and the smaller hearts in between. This is fun. Um, I would say this needs just a wipe down. It's in pretty great shape. Um, this is going to be magnetic, but we'll just try just for the heck of it so you guys can keep seeing things. Um, so this can to the toggle can either be a seven or an eight. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Uh, I'm going to go eight dollars on that. That's so cute. <gasps> Are you kidding me? You guys. Are you joking me? America's Surf Supply? <laughs> what? Why have I not been buying these, you guys? What is wrong with me? O-M-G. Do you see what this is, you guys? This is a beautiful silver pearl necklace. $70 it was selling for somewhere. It is stunning. Still going, still going, still going. Do you know what's crazy? I have a necklace that I just bought this past weekend just like this to show you. And I paid a lot more than that for it. Oh, wow. Wow. Um, let's go 45, okay? $45 on that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is so fun. All right, I have that. Looks like it's missing something. We'll set it to the side in case it comes out of here. Okay, we have some matched up ear. Oh, guys, look. Look what I found. Some coins. I'll put that with those earrings. Um, I think it's still missing a couple. Where are they? There they are. Okay, let's look at some earrings. These match that shell necklace that I showed. Look, it's Shiva eyes. Remember, they're the trap door for the snails. Really cool. And yeah, this would go, do you think it goes with this? I think it looks great with it. Okay, so there they are. Let's do $5 on these. Um, Let's see what these are. Okay, we have some gold tone 
and black acrylic earrings. These remind me of Monet also, but I don't see a signature. Let's go $4 on those. Uh, we have these guys, gold tone post earrings. Um, these say Monet on the backing, so they could be, but um, I never totally trust that because you could have put any backer on there. Okay, but there it is. I never totally trust that, my friends. Mm -mm. Yeah, no, no mark on the actual earring. Let's do $4 on those. Those are in nice shape. Okay, let me close this bin. And where the heck can I put it? I don't know. I have no room. <laughs> All right, then I found these. Have a match. Little brass earrings with faux pearl and a little bug. Uh, the pearls have some little dings. Do you see them? Not horrendous, but they are there. So let's just do $2 on those. And then I have these had a match. Interesting. These are interesting to me, you guys. Um, so I believe these are just acrylic. But this is kind of interesting to me. Um, it looks gold filled to me, but let's um let's see if it's magnetic. It's not. So the reason this looked interesting to me is because they look like somebody made these, and sometimes people will have you know gold wire and things, and the color is pretty pretty good. Um, I'm not saying it's gold. It kind of reminds me of gold filled a little bit. Another way, gold is super soft. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna do something I probably shouldn't, but. No, that would have bent in half, okay? So these are gold filled, most likely, okay? I would have been able to go whoop if it was if it was gold, okay? So something else to know. Let's go $4. Um, that still makes me nervous, I have to say. Like, oh my gosh, I should have tested it. I should have just tested it. But I'm going to go with what I know and trust myself. Uh, some more earring matches. Let's see. Okay, those match. What else have we got? Oh, we're close to done, you guys. We'll finish. We'll finish the bag. Oh, there's the stone, I think. Okay, so we have this guy. Reminds me of Leah Sophia also, but I don't see a signature. And it has this acrylic stone that's supposed to go on there. Okay? So if you want to deal with that, how about $2? Okay, let's slide this over. Okay, so I have this incredible metal mesh necklace. Wait till you see this. Oh, I think this is my favorite one of these I've ever seen. So we have this nice extender. You can shorten it up and you have a braid on this side and you have um, six strands on this side. And then the braid stops about here. And sorry, I thought it was ready for you. Uh, the braid stops about there and then you have tiered layers there and there is a little bit of a tangle here you need to fix it a little bit wow this is cool check that out that is so cool all right um it's in really nice shape too how about eight dollars that's a cool one you guys guys i can see over here that we have a laurel laurel birch earring and i'm really hoping really guys hold on it does say Laurel Birch, right? Yeah, look it. Would you have ever picked that out for Laurel Birch? I wouldn't have. I'm looking, always looking for doggies and kitties, right? Okay, this feels kind of yucky. Um, it needs like a wipe down for sure. It's a necklace with a toggle clasp. I'm going to give you a total length on it. Definitely needs to be clean. Just be aware, okay, guys? Uh, it's an 18 and a half inch total length. Um, I know it's going to be magnetic, but I'll show you guys. Okay, so let's just do three bucks. Three bucks. That's the you got to clean it price. We have some acrylic beads here. Probably vintage. Okay, so there's some verdigris on the clasp. Uh, graduated black acrylic beads. Let's just do two bucks on that. You gotta clean the verdigris. 
put ketchup on it. Remember guys, do some ketchup, do it little by little. Leave it on for a little while, not that long, a couple minutes and then take it off and then do it again. This is really cool, bib style necklace. It's fabric um, and beaded. Uh, this one does have, hmm. who is this? Chico's. I thought that's what it said, but I wasn't sure. I think we have a little bit of wear going on here, you guys. It's kind of all over and it's not horrendous, but you can see it more on the clasp. Do you see it? And then you've got like some rusting right there. Not bad though. I mean, it's not bad, not that bad. It's wearable. Uh, eight inch drop without any of the extender and it has a very long extender for you. Oh, look at the little dangles. Cool. All right. Um, let's look at the fabric. Make sure there's nothing yucky. Fabric and ribbon always kind of weird me out personally. Okay. So let's do $4. $4. Uh, oh gosh, Julie, can you stop doing that please? <laughs> All right. We have an acrylic um, bead, black and white bead faceted necklace with gold tone at the top. You have this nice long extender. Get out of my shot, dude. <laughs> That's pretty. That's nice. Um, I love the black and white. 10 inch drop. Plus you have a lot of extender left, okay? So let's do um, six bucks. Six bucks. Look what I just found, you guys. More coins. <laughs> All right, I got to open that one and put them in or I'm going to lose them. Actually, I'll put it on top and I can do it after. There we go. Um, we have a faux pearl and stretchy on good, better, best. This is a good, let's do $3. They're a nice shape. Good meaning how it feels heavy weight wise and all that stuff. I try to rate, um, the pearls, good, better, best. Okay. This is yucky. That's just going to go in craft. It's an extender with glass, but it's got a lot of vertigree. Okay. Do you see it all? Cool extender though. This would allow people, this was a great idea. So a lot of the glass faceted necklaces, which I thought we might've had one right there, but we don't, um, are short, right? Cause they're vintage. This would be a great way to wear them. What a good idea. Um, okay. So I'm going to put this in craft for a dollar and I will put it in a bag so it doesn't get anything else yucky. Okay. Oh, I thought these were bracelets. They're earrings. Check those out. Those are some serious hoops. Hoop, hoop. Ooh. Uh, let's, oh my gosh, Julie, let's go four bucks, four bucks on the hoops, the hoops, interesting, so we just had the, um, yeah, you guys know, the pendant to match these, oh, look at that, they didn't use good glue on these, oh, here it is, I got it though, Use some E6000, you guys, if you buy those. These are, like, kind of heavy. Like, not too heavy to wear, but, like, heavy, like, good material. Let's go $5, uh, $4 on those because you get a glue. Um, what is this? Interesting. It's weird. Look at the metal has, like, it's, like, chewed up in a couple of places. Isn't that weird? That's, like, fabric in there. Hmm. Interesting piece. Very interesting. I do not take, think this is sterling, but I'm just gonna, we're gonna test this so everybody can see, okay? And I mean, maybe I'm wrong every once in a while. So this like antiquing or blackening in the back usually tells you it's not sterling. Um, my phone, of course, because I'm filming, has been going crazy. All right, we have these guys. Is everything there? They all match? I think so. Little wooden earrings. Posts. Those look nice. All right, let's go four bucks. Um, oh, guys, the Laurel Birch. There we go. Got the pair. Got the pair. Woohoo! Laurel Birch pair. Let's go seven. Seven dollars. <laughs> Sorry, guys. 
Um, oh, look at these. My goodness. I think these probably have pearls glued there. These are earrings. They're posts. Wow. Wow, Zers. Didn't we have a necklace like this too with this part? I think we did. I think we did. Where'd it go? I don't know. Okay, so they need help. We'll just do a dollar on those. Those are cool though. Somebody take those and do something. Um, gold tone little bangle with the cross. Let's see what size. Comes in at like an eight and a half, you guys. Let's do four dollars. Okay, found another match. We've got this one. Oh, we had a um, we had the pendant to match these too. Isn't that cool? All right, so let's do we'll do five dollars on the earrings. Lots of like sets in here, huh? Uh, we have a memory wire, wooden, and acrylic bracelet. Has some little dangles on this one. I don't know if they're missing on this one or they just weren't on that one. Uh, let's go three bucks. Three bucks. <laughs> Making fun of myself. Um, okay, so this, is there anything else in here? <gasps> Uh-oh, look at, look at, look what I just found. I think it's one of the quails things. Okay, we need to put that somewhere safe. It's a quail topper. Who's missing their topper? This guy! Okay, so we need to glue that back in. Okay, um, hold on, we have an airing match here. Cool, let's go, those are nice. Gold tone, black acrylic, let's go five bucks. And then it looks like we have the earrings that match that pendant that we're gonna test that's most likely not sterling. Let's go $5. And okay, so we have two of these necklaces. Are they the same length? Yes, so we'll sell them separately. These are fun. I wonder if it's gonna say Monet. Uh, they're acrylic, they're faceted, and they have really cool shapes. Wait till you see one that's coming up. This one, right here. Isn't that fun? So fun. Okay, so let's do $6 on that one. And we have the same one here. This one's a little bit dirty, or dirtier. Got some juice, some free juice. Let's go five bucks on that one. Okay, now we have, oh shoot, the peace sign. The peace de resistance, just kidding. Um, so this is a snake chain. It's not going to be magnetic, but it is probably not sterling. Um, I don't think this is sterling, but here I'm going to show you. Snake chains are almost always not magnetic. Okay, so I've tested about a thousand of them in my life my jewelry life um so anyway all right so I have a little pile of unmatched earrings and this is my only America's Thrift Supply um one that I bought what am I trying to say a lot that I bought oh these match oops I thought that was one earring why do they feel different maybe just because it's a natural thing and they just do? Yeah, this one feels thinner. I was just curious. Um, let's do $4 on those shell earrings. Okay, so here's our little pile of mismatchers. Uh, how about a dollar on those if anybody wants the singles? All the single ladies. Okay, all right, so now we have sterling to test. And I'm kind of not sad that this thing fell out because I'll use this end and scratch it. Okay. So here we go. Let's do, um, so when I acid test, I use this tray because I'm messy and there's lovely dog hair in here, sorry. Dog glitter. Um, if I have a piece that I need to test like two parts of, uh, what I do is I actually typically start with the wire if it's earrings and then right below it, I'll do the other part. Those don't look good. Do the other part and then we're gonna do this too. 
like right below it. So I remember that's all part of the same thing. Okay, so get the single earrings out of the way. That is, and then I put the piece above that I'm testing. Do you see the ear wire scratch? Doesn't look very good. Okay, and then that piece, I don't wanna lose that. Okay, then we're gonna test this. This is absolutely not sterling, but we'll test it anyway. Okay, so it scratches really, really weirdly, okay? Um, it's hard to scratch, and the metals that you're looking for aren't hard to scratch. So I usually wrap that. You're supposed to wrap it around your knuckle. Mine never ends up there. Okay, so do you see how that's like a coppery color? And we'll do the same with this one. So if there's a pendant I want to test, I usually scratch the pendant. This scratch is really hard again. And then I'll do the chain right below it. Okay. Make your guesses, guys. <laughs> Here we go. Put a little drop on each one. Very, very interesting results. Very, very interesting. Okay, so these are all not sterling like we had thought. I'll price those for you in a second. Over here is very interesting. So that look usually means silver plate. And there's a tiny bit in this one too, but nothing in that. Okay, so... Hmm. Wow, that is really interesting, isn't it, you guys? Let's, um, I'm going to try to scratch this one more time and see if I can get a better scratch. And let's watch what it does. See it right there? Okay. All right, I like that better. Okay, now I think that's sterling. <laughs> yeah, I think that's sterling. I think that I'm not getting a good scratch on it. I'm not sure about the little, this thing though. Sometimes if you can't get enough on there, you know, you can't get a good result. You also don't want to ruin your piece by like going bigger. No, it's not sterling. Okay. All right. Good to know. I'm going to set that to the side. Uh, the way that I, actually, I'll show you. The way that I clean up from this, you guys, is I use like little makeup rounds. I get them at like Dollar Tree, so they're nice and cheap. I use a few so that my fingers don't go in it. And I wipe. And you want your stone to dry if you can help it before you start again or else you can get a big mess. And then I usually have a bag for like the trash and I just keep it in here because I don't want to put it in my trash because uh, Bryn is a trash stealer. Okay, and then the last thing that I always do um, the last thing that I always do is I always have um, then wipe my hands on a baby wipe. And I do that because if you guys go back to my beginning videos, oh my gosh, I had so many acid burns on my hands and skin peeling off and all that stuff. So yeah, it wasn't good. <laughs> okay, so let's look at what we have left and then we'll be done. All right, here we go. So little peace sign necklace, there's some wear. How about a dollar? Snake chain, silver tone. There's also some eh, light, light wear. One dollar. Oh, you probably need to know how long these are. I forgot what I was doing. Uh, this one is a seven and a quarter inch drop, but it has a lot of extender left. And the peace sign. Eight inch drop, no extender. Okay, sorry about that. And we have this little pendant. It's weird. It's like got a little spot there and a spot there. Let's just do $2 on that one. Okay, now let's talk about this. 
First of all, I'm gonna put this little quail topper in a bag so I don't lose it. <laughs> all right, so what we're gonna do, the ear wires are not sterling on these, you guys. I still think it probably is that person that we read about. What was it, Matt Mitchell, I believe it was. Um, I think the wires have probably been replaced. That would be my guess, okay? So I'm gonna ask 18 for these. And then this guy, which needs his um, little topper glued back in with a little E6000. Um, this guy has a total length of like 23 and a half inches. It is very, very beautiful, you guys. It's really nice. So let's look what the necklaces are going for, okay? So let's do Matt Mitchell. I get nervous that I don't see a signature and calling it that, but... Okay, Matt Mitchell quail necklace. There it is, right there. The Fat Finch. Let's go look. Hand carved stone fetish jewelry. That's cool. Oh, those are cool. Look at those little hummingbirds. Okay, so he sells them at 30 bucks a piece for his earrings. Is he claiming that they're sterling? Let's go look. Or is he using sterling and someone's replacing it? Someone replaced those sterling silver ear wires. So I think that um, they probably someone probably replaced those wires is my guess. Uh, let's see if we these are awesome, aren't they, you guys? Necklaces. Here's uh, similar. Hundred and twenty nine dollars. Whoa! Winner winner chicken dinner. Holy cow, serious? It's like, hmm, $24.99. 129 <laughs> That's a big jump. <laughs> Let's look down here. Oh, my. Oh, my, you guys. So it kind of depends on the material used. Like, this is purple turquoise. That one's expensive. Uh, this one's lapis. Wow. Wow, zers, you guys. Mojave turquoise. Wow. Wow, zers. Okay. Um, that's pretty exciting, huh? That was fun. Got my got the juices flowing, right? Okay, hold on. That's the exact necklace we have, I think, coming up on eBay. Ugh. Listings ended. Darn it. Do you guys search with this finger? I do. But I'm like, oh, I'm using my middle finger. Maybe I shouldn't do that. <laughs> Oop, 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 oop. Similar. This is a quail, but the lighter stone quail. And this one, somebody's asking 160. Hmm. Wow, zers. Okay, so we have one little broken piece from our quail. Um, these are sterling on the ends. It goes together with a little hook closure. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm thinking, I'm sorry. Okay, I am going to ask $100, okay? $100. I think that's fair. I think that gives you guys a discount and also makes sure that I get paid, which is always a good thing, right? <laughs> Especially because you guys wouldn't even believe it. I bought a whole bunch of jewelry from that place I told you about. And it was crazy at the end. And it was like, I had so much and we were all trying to add it. And I realized that I overpaid by like $100. We made a mistake adding. Well, he did. Um, yeah. And I don't know what to do about it. I haven't decided yet. Ugh. Okay. Be more careful next time. That's one. <laughs> so that fetish necklace is a, a welcome thing for me right now. <laughs> um, oh, you want to see how dirty my hands are? Look at you. Can you see it? It's like beige. Okay, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me. Tomorrow, I'll bring you some more jewelry. Do something cool. Talk to you later.